Viruses really suck. They are among humanity's greatest threats, and it seems like they're always one step ahead of us. But this week, biologists say that they've discovered a new weapon that we can use against some of our most nefarious virus enemies, and it comes from our friends, the plants. Viruses are responsible for some of the world's deadliest diseases like Ebola, rabies, and Marburg fever. In fact, the five most fatal infectious diseases on Earth are all born by the same order of virus, called mononegavirales. And unlike bacteria, we don't have many effective treatments for them. While we've got antibiotics to beat bacteria, viruses we generally have to use our own immune systems to get at with vaccines, and they keep mutating faster than we can invent new ones. And research has shown that viruses also develop resistance to antiviral treatments, much like bacteria can become resistant to antibiotics. So, what's humanity to do? We may be close to an answer. On Thursday, microbiologists and chemists at Boston University said that they've discovered a molecule that may defeat some of the worst known viruses by interfering with the process they use to copy themselves, called transcription. Now, the scumbags in this gang are all called non-segmented negative strand RNA, or NNS RNA viruses, and unlike other viruses, they can't be copied directly. Once they infect a cell, they need to create a template template that's sort of their genetic reverse image called an antigenome. This template is then used over and over to make marauding hordes of viruses that take over our bodies. So to create the antigenome, these viruses need a specific enzyme called RDRP. So the Boston team set out to find molecules that could block RDRP, thus stopping them in their tracks. The scientists started with healthy host cells, pre-treating them with a whole variety of chemical compounds before exposing them to two of the meanest known viruses in the world, Ebola and VSV which causes foot and mouth disease. After testing over 2,000 different compounds, the team discovered that one group of molecules successfully blocked the virus's transcription. They're called indolin alkaloids, a big and really diverse group of chemicals that are responsible for many of the medicinal properties found in plants, including some of the anesthetic, sedative, and even hallucinogenic effects. In cells treated with these compounds, viral replication was 99.9% .9 lower than in control cells, and the cells showed significantly less death overall. In other words, these alkaloids totally body slammed the viruses while causing no harm to the infected cells. So does that mean that we have a cure on our hands? Well, uh, not there yet. For one thing, the team doesn't know why these molecules worked so well. They suspect that it has something to do with the alkaloid's shape, which is similar among all the effective molecules. This shape could be preventing the RDRP from doing its job, or it might be messing with other factors inside the host cell that the viruses need for transcription. Also, while the molecules wiped the floor with both of the NNS viruses, when they were tested on another class of viruses called segmented negative strand RNA viruses, the molecules didn't have the same effect. So this is certainly a promising step for treating some of the world's deadly viruses, but it's not going to treat them all like HIV, for example. And finally, I should point out that the study, published in the journal Chemistry and Biology, doesn't say what kind of plants these compounds were taken from, so don't go grazing in your backyard to ward off the flu or anything. Nonetheless, this is a huge discovery with big potential. Once we figure out exactly how these compounds work, the team says the structure of the alkaloids can be synthesized and improved upon to kick even more virus behind. Knowing how to make a molecule with antiviral properties like this can lead to drugs that treat a broad spectrum of viruses, much like how antibiotics treat bacteria. And to those future drug makers, I think I speak for all humanity when I say, SHUT UP AND TAKE MY MONEY! Thank you for watching this episode of SciShow. If you have any questions or ideas, we're on Facebook and Twitter and in the comments below. And if you want to keep up to date on all the latest breaking science news, you can go to youtube.com slash scishow and subscribe. Boom!